Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's game number six in the series, which means I'm kinda almost halfway done in my quest to play all of the Assassin's Creed games since there were five games before this and there's five more games after this, at least at time of recording this. Of course, um, in reality, the issue is a bit more complex because, first of all, I didn't make a let's play of the very first Assassin's Creed game on account of having played it already years ago. And I believe that some of the later games are actually a lot longer in terms of playtime than the previous ones. But just looking at the numbers, um, we are almost halfway done uh, with the franchise. And in this game, we are going to be a pirate, I believe. And to me, this is actually a return to more familiar waters, if you allow the pun. <laughs> because the previous game, Assassin's Creed 3, uh, was set during the events of the American Revolution, which uh, was a historical subject that I didn't really know that much about. I mean, I knew the basics, whatever I learned at school years ago. But as you can probably imagine, it was not a big subject at school here. It was just, um, you know, treated as like a side subject at some point. Um, but pirates, yes, pirates I do know a little bit more about because I had a pirate face when I was a kid. Because who didn't have a pirate face when they were kids, right? And I have to admit that a lot of my early pirate knowledge came from another video game which was Sid Meier's Pirates for the old Amiga, which was kind of my first real computer that I had. I mean, it already was outdated when I got it, like a few years old. But it was a computer and it worked and I could play games on it. And Sid Meier's Pirates uh, was a game that I played excessively when I was a kid. So I'm quite looking forward to this um, and see how the pirates are doing in this game. I'm also curious how they will continue um, the framing story of uh, the series. I mean, in Assassin's Creed 3, um, we kind of had the end of one story arc with Desmond presumably dying, at least I think he is dead now. <laughs> and, you know, the big catastrophic event was averted. Potentially a new threat was created with Juno. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see how they will continue this and I don't really have much else to say um, just the usual please no spoilers in the comments since this is a blind let's play and new episodes will upload always every other day always at the same time which is 7 p.m. Central European time also you can follow me on Twitter for schedule updates and other stuff and the link is in the description of every video so yeah, uh, let's just get into this. Um, I have configured my options. I may have to tweak them a little bit later. We'll see about that. But for now, we're just going to start a new game. And yes, I have to create a safe game, which is called Abstergo. <laughs> I mean, previously it was called Desmond, but since Desmond is no more, it's now Abstergo, which is interesting. Of course, I'm going to rename it. And we are ready to go. Okay, finally we start right in the middle of things. Okay. I look like an assassin and now I'm already in control okay um, I can walk I can run okay this is more or less like I'm used to reach the ship's wheel which is over here okay 
Are you talking to me? Am I Kenway? Any relation to Nathan and Connor, I wonder? Probably, right? Firing cannons. To fire with your cannons, hold right mouse button and move mouse to aim. Then press left to shoot. Shoot the hull for maximum damage. I'm not sure if this is like it was in the previous game, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Okay. Okay, this is how I aim and this is how I shoot. Okay, well, <laughs> that's actually easy enough. Um, can I actually steer the ship too? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I can. Yes. Okay. So, let's uh, sink a few more ships. Okay, um, it's, it's very hard to see though if this is going to reach my destination. Let's just find out. Okay, this is going to reach. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, I should probably make sure that I don't run into these cliffs over here. Um, yeah, this is not going to reach my target. Now we can fire. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it is more or less the same like before, I believe. Maybe slightly different. Okay. So the only one left is the big one. Okay. I have no idea what scuttle means, but um, I'll do it. Ah, that didn't hit properly, but the ship seems to be almost down. Like one more hit should do it. There we go. Yes. First battle won. Let's go now! Oh, well, um, maybe... Douse the flames! Get in there, we didn't win know. after all. Oh, well, um, the assassin is here. You are an assassin, right? I mean, you look like one. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Well... Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. I wonder if you will be able to keep that promise. First of all, we probably should make sure that we don't drown here. <sighs> Reach the shore. Okay, um, I guess swimming is as I'm used to. Yes, it is. Works well enough. Luckily, we are very close to the shore. like a nice island. <laughs> I'm glad you are amused. Oh, he survived as well. Was it good for you as well? 
Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Esquilos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm on to you, Snigsby! He left his gun. Should I pick up the gun? Oh, I'm supposed to chase after him, apparently. Okay. Um... Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. <laughs> we are. We most certainly are. So, where did he go to? I didn't really watch him all that closely. Huh. But there's a lot of stuff going on on this island. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Um, well, maybe if I get a little bit higher, I can find him. Let's get a higher vantage point here. And I suppose all of this is climbable. Yes. I mean, free running is more or less like it was before. Just move forward and he will do the rest. And I mean, this actually seems to be a viewpoint, judging from my mini map, so. Maybe I should try to synchronize if I can. Um, do I need to get higher? Yes, I do. Let's do it. So, can I see him from here? Not really. Let's synchronize anyway. Looks pretty nice though. Nice little island. Okay. And can you leap of faith? Yes, you can. Natural talent. Oh, there he is. Where's he running? Posh kid. Did he just say posh kid? That's a great insult. Um, but okay, let's uh, continue to chase our assassin here. We could work together on this. I agree. Sounds like a good suggestion. This is another viewpoint, right? Okay, hang on a second. I would like to synchronize this one too. I mean, it looks like this island is inhabited, judging from all the constructions, but I'm not really seeing any people. Oh, we're just looking into the water here. I see. Um. Yeah, I lost him again, of course. Keep your distance! Oh, well. Why? What are you doing? Oh, did you just shoot me? Whoa. Oh, now I am supposed to kill him. Well. I guess if you try to shoot me, then that's what I will do. Alright. Let's catch up with him. Oh, nice. Apparently I can already rival an assassin's free running skill, so that is good. Oh, and now I have to fight. I do have a sword. Okay, let's fight. Break the fence. Shift. Okay. Duncan Walpole is his name. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, 
That was quick. Not much of a fighter, huh? This assassin. Rather disappointing and underwhelming for one. But okay, um, I guess we killed him now. <laughs> Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret <laughs> order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Did he just throw the hidden blade away? Mr. Walpole. Stupid. Let's Stupid move. Reward. Okay, apparently we are pretending to be an assassin now. Well, that's something new. So, okay, find a way to Havana. Oh. I hear gunshots. But yeah, apparently we are actually pretending to be an assassin now. That's definitely a new way to start the game. Um, I got a restricted zone over here. That schooner will do me just fine. Oh, so you want to steal that ship, huh? Okay. Um. Of course, I am kind of tempted to explore a little bit since I'm here on that island and I can already see like stuff on my map like a chest that's supposed to be here but it might not be on the same level <laughs> and another viewpoint over here okay let's synchronize this one too Okay, we synchronized and sure let's let's just jump down I mean I am tempted to go and explore this place a little bit but since we just started the game I feel I should stick with the main story for a while I'm sure we can come back here at some point and do whatever we missed Ooh. Sorry, the merchant okay Quiet, you pirate. Oh, well, let's You'll hike for the mess you made out there. Drop down here. I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew okay. and I Stalking zones. Dense vegetation can be used as stalking zones. They allow you to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach targets stealthily. Okay. Can do that. Um, so all of this is a stalking zone, I suppose. Hold it! Oh, Stop are you them! going to come in here? No, he's not. Anyway, I think I need to just attack these guys before they kill the merchant. And I don't think I can do this completely stealthily anyway. So let's just jump into the fray and kill these red coats. <laughs> I mean, they have red coats. So. And I mean, the combat system seems to be more or less like an used to. Easy as pie. You like. Okay, um, where did the merchant go? Oh, he's still alive, okay. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? <laughs> I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him. And I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first <laughs> appeared. Did you? Yes. 
You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Indeed. Reach the ship's wheel. Okay, so we're going Backing to take a the ship. Rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Hardly the worst. I have been doing some swimming today already. But okay, before I do that, um, I see like something that looks like a map on my map. Yes. Also, I want to look at these turtles. Look at them. Oh, oh this, this is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Are you okay? Well, it looks like he almost reached the ship, so I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, look at these turtles. They look amazing. I wonder if I can kill them. <laughs> I'm not going to kill the turtles. Not if I don't have to. Okay, so we have a dead person over here. Can I, like... Yes, I can interact with them. Fortune's favor. Treasure map. So it is a map. Find treasure maps on explorers' cadavers. They will lead you to a specific place on an island. Dig there and you might find money or plans to upgrade your ship. Use mouse wheel or press 9 to select the maps and press F to open them. The coordinates will lead you to the location and the image will help you finding the right spot. This feature is also accessible from the second screen. What is the second screen? Okay, so this is my map. I guess these are the coordinates. Um, okay. So this is where the treasure is, right? I mean, this looks like it could actually be this very island, right? So, how exactly do I access the map again? Ah, okay, F. Um, I guess this could be this place. <laughs> it's not really that descriptive. But assuming it is, um, then I would be around here somewhere at the coast. And I have to go to a little lake. Of course, I have no sense of scale on this map, so this could be very close. Or it could be on, like, the other side of the island. Let's have a quick look. And speaking of quick look, um, I definitely see a chest over here. But this is not my treasure, is it? Ooh, it is a treasure. It looks like a lot more money than what I just got, I feel. <laughs> and these are basically the haystacks, I see. Okay, we do got a little lake over here. So... Maybe... This is actually what I'm looking for. So oh, curve to the right over here. Yes, a bit. Okay, I can dig. Let's do it. And yes, I'm afraid you will have to dig with your bare hands, Edward. That's your name, right? Your real name. I mean, you pretend to be Duncan, but... Judging from that little cutscene... Oh, that's actually quite a bit of money compared to what I just found in that other chest. Okay, nice. So, we already found our first pirate treasure. And I think I'm just going back now and I will go to that ship because, um, like I said, it's the first episode. I think I should progress the main story a little bit before I start go off on a tangent and explore all the things. I mean, there are a lot of things to explore. By the way, do I have a map? Yes, I do. So, this 
doesn't even look like an island. Not exactly sure where I am. If it is, it is a very big one. Howler monkey. Animus fragments. Oh, I can collect animus stuff again. And a shanty. <laughs> I can collect shanties, okay? But okay, um I will I will not deal with this at the moment. Instead I hope that at some point I can come back here and collect all of this. I hope these fish are not dangerous. Ah, they look fine. I'm just a bit traumatized from playing Dishonored and getting eaten by hackfish all the time. I mean, I suppose there might be sharks in these waters. I don't know. Let's get on board the ship for now and uh, reach Havana. So that would be on Cuba, right? And I guess I'm going to take the wheel. Let's do it. Welcome Sail aboard, out Duncan. of the bay. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Okay, well, um, I don't exactly know where ah, there's to a tug of the wind leave in my this hair. bay ah, over I here, find probably. a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of, of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. Um, okay. We've really opened this it up is now, haven't we? a very we? confusing ah! bay. Let's slow down. There's a lot of cliffs here and... I mean, I'm trying to navigate by my oh little my mini map. Satans were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? <laughs> a possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. Okay, um... But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. Oh, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. <laughs> Didn't think about that, right? All sail! Anyway, it. I hope I'm going the right way here. It's some very narrow passages, but I think I am approaching the exit. And in the meantime, I can marvel at all the wildlife. And the beautiful blue water. Okay, I need to make a quick turn here. Okay, the ship actually does turn pretty quickly. So. As much sail as you can! Seems to be a lot more maneuverable than the ships I sailed in the previous game. And it looks like we're finally going... Ooh, uh, whoa! Oh, uh... Look at that! A whale! How awesome! I am already impressed with the environments here. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. <laughs> How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. So he's been doing this for two years already? What about your lady? I guess you didn't return to her? work very promising okay who's talking all right easy now there you go welcome back oh now I'm back in well, the real world your numbers look good now let's make sure we can break your brain all right <laughs> I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here Look up. Okay. 
There's That's a light. It. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. <laughs> so we are in Abstergo now. Huh, okay. Impressive, right? This building Impressive. is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Mother was Asian. Maybe talking? you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. <laughs> that was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's hey. your gig. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I skipped Liberation. I haven't played that one. <laughs> It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon. T'étais prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. Pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. So, uh, do I understand this correctly? Instead of just kidnapping some poor guy to make him go through the animus, they just hire people now to do it. That's actually kind of clever. <laughs> See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Select Sample 17 project floor. Okay. Oh, I see. Um. Yes, that's where I have to go. So that little pad over there is my hut now. I see. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. <laughs> Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, <laughs> maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So? This is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. Oh. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. I see. So we're still looking through Desmond's memories. But you don't actually need Desmond for it. You're just yeah. taking his DNA, I suppose. Nice. And then you can hire just someone else to do it for you. Well, this is certainly um, an improvement, home, I suppose. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. <laughs> so here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you okay. need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. <laughs> okay, so 
this is an interesting new framing device. So instead of Desmond, we just have some unnamed person and you're playing him or her potentially in first person. And now I'm just like looking through Desmond's memories because apparently um, Abstergo, which is where we are, has his DNA and now can just use his DNA to look through his memories. And yes, we are playing as a Kenway again, so it, uh, it must be someone related to Adam and Connor. Um, can I look around here a little bit? Yes, I can. Oh, I see. This is probably something where I can collect stuff, right? My files. So what exactly do I have here? Employee passport. Your passport to success at Abstergo Entertainment. <laughs> um, okay, and they are creating like games. I mean, they literally mentioned Liberation, which was like the previous game before Black Flag, right? Actually, I do remember that at some point when Desmond was talking to Vidic, he mentioned something about, yes, we are just going to use all this information to make movies. I thought he was being um, a little bit like sarcastic, <laughs> but maybe they actually use it for, I don't know, stuff like this, entertainment. Okay, um, I don't really have much here, just my passport. Not sure if I can like interact with any of these statues here. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, I see. I can connect to the animus over here. So I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. And what exactly is this over here? Sticky note. Being that life is both sacred and profane, priceless and worthless, fleeting and eternal we submit. Being that life can be as easily construed from primordial swamps as from a stinking petri dish we submit. Being that those who came before imbued us with life and may remove it as readily, should we defy or deny their, their original plan we submit. <laughs> is this like the Templar's Creed? <laughs> Interesting. Um, sticky note to put here though. And well, I suppose I can I explore a little bit. Not sure if I can actually like talk to people. I mean, all my interactions are apparently with computers and stuff and not with actual things in this world. Um, I wonder if I can hear them talking. Yeah, not really. Can't understand. And if I'm unlucky, they're talking French anyway. And my French at school is a long time ago. I found another sticky note. Sticky note 4. It was in the 7th and 18th century the world became an indecent place rent of its original purpose during the ages of industrial revolutions. Here it was the machines of industry we unleashed in such grand quantities quite without understanding them unwound motives and purpose of their own as inert as they were. Okay. Who is leaving all these notes? <laughs> Honestly, if I was a new employee in this place and I find these notes, I would be freaked out a little bit. Maybe I can find more of them. This is actually quite a large place. But yeah, it seems I can only interact with computers or those QR codes, but not people. 
sticky note 17. How many notes are there? As our tools are genetic expressions of our mental cultural activity, and as we are expressions of their mental cultur cultural activity, it must necessarily follow that this world, as it is now and as it ever will be, is an expression of the first will, an expression of their labors and thus belongs not to us but to them. The wires, the cables, the data network that now crisscross the globes are hers. They must become her body and her mind. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, apparently there are 20 sticky notes altogether. Of course, I'm not sure if I can already find them all or if I have to be able to enter any of these places, for example. Which I can't at the moment. But yeah, um, this is quite the interesting beginning. Oh, hang on a second. This is another sticky note. Sticky note seven. Take the cinema which gave us lies as a man once said 24 times per second per second. Take the phonograph which preserves noises which ought to be ephemeral. Take the television which is obviously stupid. Take video games, which are secretly stupid, and you all know you wish there was more pornography. You know you do. <laughs> yeah, if, if I was a new employee here, I would start to wonder about my employer, to be honest. Or at least the people leaving the sticky notes in here. Liberation. Live and play through the eyes of... Uh, I not read that. But yeah, uh, Liberation is actually one of the games I skipped because I wanted to focus on like the main games of the series since there's just too many of them. So if I want to get anywhere, I feel that I have to you know, narrow it down a little bit. But yeah, um, that's really all I can find here at the moment. No more sticky notes that I can see currently. So I think I will just um, give up my hunt for more sticky notes. I find it interesting though that these doors seem to lock up once I get closer to them. Now they're fine. I get close and they turn red. Suspicious. Security level 1, security level 2. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point during the game I'm actually able to get inside there. But yeah, I guess um, I will go back into the Animus next. However, uh, I'm not going to do it today. Instead, I will end the first episode here. And in the next one, we will go back to Edward Kenway and see if uh, he made it to Havana, I suppose. So yeah, as usual, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Black Flag and see you again next time.